Do you ever wonder why we celebrate Valentine's Day on February 14th? The story begins in ancient Rome with a festival known as Lupercalia. This was no ordinary event, but a grandiose celebration that took place from February 13th to the 15th. The festival was rich with rites of purification and fertility, marking it as a time of physical renewal and spiritual cleansing. Lupercalia was a time when the Romans would cast off the old and embrace the new, hoping to bring good fortune and prosperity. The festival, with its focus on love and fertility, forms one of the earliest known origins of what we now call Valentine's Day. So, the next time you exchange chocolates or send a heartfelt note on February 14th, remember the ancient Romans who celebrated love and renewal in their own unique way. So, our modern day of love has its roots in ancient Roman rites. But why do we call it Valentine's Day? Well let's delve into the story of the man who lent his name to this day of love and affection. Saint Valentine. Now Valentine is a bit of an enigma. There are several legends associated with him, and it's not entirely clear which one is true. Some say he was a priest who defied the Roman Emperor's orders and secretly married young couples. Others believe he was a bishop who healed the sick and performed miracles. Regardless of which story is true they all paint a picture of a man who was deeply compassionate, selfless and devoted to love. It's no wonder that his name has become synonymous with expressions of love and affection. So our day of love is named after a man who embodied these very qualities. But how did a pagan festival become a Christian celebration? As the spread of Christianity gained momentum, the church sought to replace pagan holidays with Christian ones. Enter Pope Galatius I. In the late 5th century he decided to Christianize the raucous festival of Lupercalia. His chosen method? He declared February 14th as St. Valentine's Day. The Pope's aim was to honor the martyr St. Valentine, replacing the pagan god Lupercus. While the church may have changed the name and the deity, it couldn't instantly change the traditions. The festival's focus on fertility and love lingered, shaping the Valentine's Day we know today. So, what started as a wild Roman festival celebrating fertility and pairing off couples through a lottery, evolved into a day dedicated to a saint who symbolized love and devotion. And that's how Valentine's Day became a part of the Christian calendar. But when did Valentine's Day become associated with romantic love? This question takes us back to the Middle Ages, when the day began to take on a more romantic hue. This shift from religious observance to a celebration of love was gradual and fascinating. The first recorded instance of Valentine's Day being associated with romantic love is in Geoffrey Chaucer's works, where he penned verses about birds choosing their mates on February 14th. This idea caught on, and soon, it became popular to exchange love notes on this day. The oldest known Valentine's letter in existence was penned in the year 1415 by Charles Duke of Orléans, while he was imprisoned in the Tower of London. He wrote to his wife, expressing his love and longing for her. So, the tradition of expressing love on Valentine's Day is centuries old. It's a testament to our enduring need to celebrate and express our affection for one another. Ready for some Valentine's Day trivia? Let's dive into some curious facts about this cherished day. Did you know that the first box of Valentine's Day chocolates was introduced by none other than Richard Cadbury in the late 19th century? Yes, that Cadbury, the same one we attribute our Easter egg traditions to. And here's another sweet fact, literally. More than 36 million heart-shaped boxes of chocolates are sold for Valentine's Day each year. That's a whole lot of cocoa love. Now let's talk flowers. Approximately 200 million roses are produced for Valentine's Day, with red roses being the most popular choice. And while we're on the topic of popularity, the city of Verona, Italy, where Shakespeare's lovers Romeo and Juliet lived, receives about a thousand letters addressed to Juliet every Valentine's Day. So, now you have some Valentine's Day trivia to share with your loved ones. But how is Valentine's Day celebrated around the world? The celebration of love knows no boundaries, and it's fascinating to see how different cultures express their affection. In Japan, for instance, Valentine's Day is a two-part affair. On February 14th, it's the women who play Cupid. They present the men in their lives with chocolates, from Giri Choco, obligation chocolates for colleagues, to Hanmei Choco, special chocolates for a loved one. But that's not all. A month later, on March 14th, the men reciprocate with their own gifts on a day known as White Day. The practice is a delicate dance of mutual appreciation. On the other side of the world in Wales, love is celebrated a little earlier on January 25th with St. Dwinwin's Day, the Welsh equivalent of Valentine's Day. 
A traditional romantic gift is a love spoon, a beautifully carved wooden spoon symbolizing a man's intention to feed and care for his beloved. Meanwhile in South Africa, women quite literally wear their hearts on their sleeves on Valentine's Day. It's a tradition to pin the name of their love interest on their shirt sleeve, a custom inspired by an ancient Roman festival. In the Philippines, Valentine's Day takes on a communal spirit with mass wedding ceremonies. Hundreds, sometimes even thousands of couples, gather to say their vows in unison, creating a breathtaking spectacle of love and unity. And in Brazil, they celebrate Dia dos Namorados, or Lover's Day, on June 12th with music festivals and performances, making it a lively celebration of love and friendship. From chocolates to love spoons, from wearing your heart on your sleeve to mass weddings, the spirit of Valentine's Day permeates every corner of the globe, each tradition as unique as the love it celebrates. So love is celebrated in many different ways around the world. Whether it's through a simple chocolate, a beautifully carved spoon, or a grand declaration at a mass wedding, these traditions remind us that love, in all its forms, is a universal language. But when did Valentine's Day become so commercial, you may ask? Well, the commercialization of Valentine's Day began in earnest in the early 20th century. As print technology evolved, mass-produced Valentine's cards became widely available, turning what was once a personal handmade gesture into a thriving industry. In the mid-20th century, the holiday expanded beyond just cards. Florists, candy companies and even jewelers jumped on the Valentine's Day bandwagon, promoting their products as the perfect expression of love. Today, it's estimated that billions are spent on Valentine's Day each year, on everything from cards and chocolates to plush toys and extravagant dinners. The commercialization of Valentine's Day has been met with mixed reactions. Some see it as a harmless boost to the economy, while others criticize it as a shallow interpretation of love. Regardless of perspective, it's undeniable that Valentine's Day has become a major commercial holiday. But how has Valentine's Day evolved in the digital age? As with many aspects of our lives, technology has reshaped the way we express love and affection. Traditional handwritten love letters, once eagerly awaited in the mailbox, have been replaced by instant digital messages. The anticipation of opening a letter has given way to the thrill of seeing a new message notification on our screens. Today, declarations of love are made through e-cards, tweets, Instagram posts, and even Snapchat filters. Instead of waiting for the postman, we wait for likes, shares, and comments. Even the classic Valentine's Day gifts have gone digital. Instead of a physical box of chocolates or a bouquet of roses, many opt for digital gift cards or virtual flowers. And it's not just about romantic love anymore. Valentine's Day has become a day to express affection towards friends, family, and even pets on our social media platforms. So, Valentine's Day continues to evolve, reflecting the times we live in. So, what have we learned about Valentine's Day? We've journeyed from the ancient Roman festival of Lupercalia, seen the influence of St. Valentine, and observed the transformation of a pagan festival into a Christian celebration. We've traced the evolution of Valentine's Day from the Middle Ages to the Victorian era, right up to the Digital Age. We've discovered curious facts like the first box of Valentine's chocolates and the unique ways love is celebrated around the world. We've also seen how Valentine's Day has become a major commercial holiday, with billions spent on gifts, cards, and romantic dinners. Yet, despite the commercialization and the digital transformation, the essence of Valentine's Day remains the same. It's a day to express love and affection, to show those we care about just how much they mean to us. Remember, no matter how you choose to celebrate, Valentine's Day is all about expressing love and affection to those you cherish. Before we wrap up, we want to leave you with a few thoughts. If you found this journey through the history of Valentine's Day as fascinating as we did, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel. We regularly post videos on a variety of topics that we think you'll love, and we would love to hear from you. What are your thoughts on Valentine's Day? Do you have any unique traditions or experiences you'd like to share? Leave a comment below, and let's start a conversation. Thank you for watching and remember, love isn't just for Valentine's Day, it's something to celebrate and share every day. Spread the love.